that you? Come over here. I'm in a real bind. This fella, he's in a bad way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me, I'll show you. Hello there, mister. Hey, partner. It was me or what him. The hell is I swear. This? I gotta clean this room. Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Bastard started beating on me, choking me. He was a demon in human shape. You gotta help me, please. I must really be losing my mind this time. You know, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and they'll eat him up in no time. Did you do it? Please tell me you did it. I'm back, ain't I? Another drink. Thank you. Please Where? take it. Before take I all sit of it. Right here in the bar. That's how it was back in the day, you know. Wouldn't merely. The women of Valentine owe you, please. Mister. You did Get a good thing. Everything. Now please go. We didn't care. Well. You know why? At least that's because done with, right? Damn straight. This whole turn. town's better off. That's Trust just me. A fact. The other side of it is, if you do care, you ain't Soon no enough, man this will all. all be behind us. Listen, you, you need to leave here now. I need to finish cleaning this up. Go on. You lot wine if a bear this entry comes whistle to your Valentine yard, like a cold wind. Bear comes Place ain't yard, quite the same. I eat him. I ate an engine once. Once ate a priest as well. What's it to be? Said I was a heathen, so I showed him how much heathen I was. Grilled the old bastard Dear right please. where the stockyards are now. Here. <laughs> You ain't, man! None of ya! None of yous. Nothing. Less than the turds take of the a goddamn whiskey. street. All of ya! Whiskey? I gotta get me some goddamn air.
got real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Morning. Partner? Hey, buddy. Morning, mister. Hey there, mister. Partner. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... If I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and... Ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh. I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I uh, guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> used to know a fella a bit like you. A few years back, crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye.
God, you poor bastard. See any welcome? I'm only having fun. Didn't think you'd take me being here so serious. Get out of my sight now! I mean no harm. I'm just a visitor. You better make yourself scarce. Got you now. Got you. Somebody help me! What the hell? You don't got any objections. What's in here? You don't need to do this! Devil in hell! There's my girl. Easy now. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A little house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. 
Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine! Let me sleep! Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. John, come on. I tracked him to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Came this way, so. Don, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, did you mean to. I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Or something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. There, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one, and I'll take the other. for 
Scott. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. Easy, easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. He's stopping. What do you say? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body. We must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 oh. Behind you! Okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. 
<laughs> Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry you. Here come the rest of them. Wait, there's more of them. Come on. Come on. Down that gully. I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. Much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. I don't feel good. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I'm feeling real weird. Get back up! We need to get him home! Does it look okay? <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. We're here. Alright. Let's get you down. Let me see. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out there. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I'll really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. 
We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, we all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Hey, mister. Hello. As soon as this ship Excuse goes, me. I'm going straight to the working girls to give Hello? them a stroke. Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With, uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful. And I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Is Arthur, uh... He passed away. A long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well, my people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. And it's, uh, what are you doing here? I, I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, to 
be listening. I've been here for five years for more now, and the world is getting Hello, worse. Sir? Listen to me. This is not a joke. Read this book. Nixon to go range this coming Sunday. Hello. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It's kind of interesting. Did, did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, yeah. Quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking of another volume. Another volume of a unifying theories of scientific knowledge. Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but I've got a great bit about how this new craze for dental hygiene will make our pets homosexual. Good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Or I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long luck. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am.
You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. John. John Marston. Usually. Who are you? Well, I'm not telling you that. I like to be anonymous. I like to blend in. That's a joke. I'm well known for my humor, you see. Anyway. Be well. You're a good dog. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Mister? Oh! I remember you. Listen. Have you seen, um... Gavin? You still on this? Yeah. Yeah. It's turned into a right bloody rigmarole. <laughs> I told the trouble and strife I'd be six months. It's been seven or eight years now. I'd have stopped after seven or eight days. <laughs> yeah, I'll box his ears when I find him. No, I won't. I love that boy. <laughs> Gavin! Where are you hiding? Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! What is... Stop squirming! What is going on? Let me go! I check your pockets. Come on, please. Please. Bugger me!
don't like this one bit. Easy now. Blow it! 